Hello. How did you get in here? Oh, your, in your, your door was open. Have we met before? Oh no, we haven't. My name is Amarachi. I'm your father's new general manager. Oh. Yeah, congratulations. My name is Henry. I know. Actually, sir, I, I'm so sorry I intruded into your privacy this way. But today is your mother's birthday. And your father is having a special family lunch for her downstairs. You weren't there and I came to... I came to tell you. Amarachi, you know nothing about what is happening. Can you please leave my room? No gentleman has ever walked me out before. Oh yeah? And you look like a total gentleman. What, then I'm pleased to be the very first person to walk you out of my room and I give you 10 seconds to do that. Well, sir, let me use that 10 seconds to speak with you. You don't seem too happy with your parents. Why? Are they happy with me? Do you know if they're happy with me? They love you. That's what I know, sir. Tell me. If they love me so much like you say they do, would you, an outsider, be the one to inform me about what is happening downstairs? Would you? Would your parents do that to you? I don't know my parents. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, sir, we all are victims of misperception and prejudice at one time or the other in our lives. But when you are a victim, you have to find a way to straighten things out. Set your records straight. And if I want to understand everything you've said, you obviously haven't tried to set your record straight. Why don't you start today, sir, by gracing your mother's birthday? Just a peck on the cheek and a happy birthday mother will go a long way. It will put a smile on her face. This is a chance for you to straighten your own record. Set it all straight. Good afternoon, Dad. Happy birthday, Mom. Thank you. Um, about the birthday gift, he promised to get you one immediately we're through with this place. Didn't you, sir? Oh, we will? Yes, yes, we will. He will. Oh, the toast? The toast, sir. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. The toast. Yes. Well. <laughs> um, we knew that this was not an ordinary lunch that is going to be a special lunch but we didn't know how special this special will be <laughs> uh, Amarachi thank you thank you sir thank you for helping us to make this a thoroughly family affair um, I think <laughs> um, Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> to your health. I can see you're doing very well. Yes, I am. Well, I hope you don't mind me bringing you all the way down from your office to the coffee restaurant to spend some time with me. Not at all. I was just wondering what this is. I mean, nothing. Nothing. Cheers. You know, you've changed my life. I don't know how you did it on my birthday over the weekend. Well, my son Henry is, is a new person now. I'm happy to hear that, Ma. I only spoke to him and to his conscience. His conscience? That's why I'm here. I'm already. Henry is our only child. His father, he made all the sacrifices to build this massive, multi billion naira business just for him. To make life very easy for his only child. I don't know what they did to my son when he went to school in the United States. But he came back to this country a totally different person. Choosing to abandon everything in pursuit of a fool's paradise. So that's the bone of contention. Succession plan. Well, yeah, succession plan that that's been on for a long time. That he was a part of. Now he doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. Did he give you any reasons for his decisions, Ma? that whatever his reasons, they are wrong. My son is naive and foolish. I don't know what you did. I don't know how you did it. And I don't care. All I'm asking is that you do it again. And I promise you, if you can bring my son to our side, my husband and I will be indebted to you for the rest of our lives. I'm here to ask you to help me. Help. I'll talk to him. I'll see what I can do. Please don't cry. I know we both agreed not to intrude into each other's privacy in the course of this dinner. Mm -hmm. But I beg to please break the rules. You want to break the rules? Yes, sir. Okay. Permission granted. Thank you. Actually, sir, I was wondering 
I mean, why aren't you part of the day-to-day -day runnings of Global Holdings Limited? Didn't you ask my parents? Nope. Why not? I figured out that if I ask them, they'll tell me why they think or what they think your reasons are for not joining the company. So I decided to ask you because that way I get to know the real reason why you don't want to join the company. And I don't get to judge you from their own point of view. I get to judge you from my own point of view. Okay. Well, it's the company that is the bone of contention now, right? Amarashi, my parents want me to join the company and be involved with the day-to-day -day running of the company. In fact, they want me to head the company once I come back from the States. But unfortunately, I am not a business administrator. I am a trained medical officer. That's what I am. I love the career I've chosen. I'm going to pursue it. And nothing can change it. Period. So if I get you correctly, your parents actually want you to abandon the medical practice and join the company? Absolutely. That's what they want me to do. And I refused. Now, my refusal has made my parents and I the worst of enemies. That is what has happened. My father has gone ahead to seize my travel documents. Now I cannot return to the States. He's further gone ahead to use his influence to make sure I don't get an employment with any hospital or clinic. You see, I'm actually, I'm not a fool. I'm not a mistake. I am not the good for nothing son. I am not a disappointment like my dad and mother usually say. I'm just a man that is frustrated. Very frustrated. And my parents are responsible for my frustration. That, that's what's happening. Sir, I must say that your profession is a noble one. Entirely a very noble profession. But I don't think it wise for you to have a fight with a couple as determined and as influential as your parents. I mean, fighting with them will not help you. It will only frustrate you the more and wreck your ambitions. Because certainly they will succeed in the fights. And when they do, they look at you and say, we said it, he is a mistake. I don't think you want to give them that chance, sir. Do you? In very little words, you've been able to analyze the situation. That's good. I would say, join the company. Head the company just as they want. And then after some time, you could still expand the company into a medical field. That way, you go back to your first love through the back door. That's never going to happen. My dad would never, ever, ever allow it. Sir, I think your father that I know, the man I've worked with, I see him more as a realist, not a sadist. I really think that you should give my words a thought. But all the same, I must say thank you for giving me the chance to speak with you. You're welcome. Thank you. That's exactly where I'm going. I'm going with you. You are going with him to the office. Mom, Dad, let's just say I am willing to put all this behind me. I'm ready to do what you've always wanted. Yes, and, and I'm sorry for putting us through the trouble I have put us through for the past three years concerning this particular issue. I'm sorry. 
Understand. What do you think happened to him? I don't know. Ah, Amarachi told me that they were having dinner last night. Oh, so that is it then. I forgot to tell you, darling, the last time I was in your office, I spoke with her. I told her she should talk to him on our behalf. Mm. And this here now is the result. That girl has a magic wand that turns anything or anyone into a success. How I wish you were as our daughter. I just pray to God that he gives her complete joy and peace when she does find her destined man. Amen. She's so wonderful. She's such a blessing to us. Amen. My dear, I've got to go. I know. I wish you good luck. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, and you too. <laughs> and Please. Important item on the agenda. Um, some of you have seen this young man on my right, and some of you haven't. Um, oh, at this juncture, I would like to say that um, some of our senior managers are on official duties. That's why they are not able to be with us, but they send their regards. Um, this young man. Is my one and only son. He is Dr. Henry Kalu. Well, his visit this morning is not just a casual one. It is for him to assume his proper position as the new managing director of Global Holdings Nigeria Limited. Well, um, I am sure we shall all cooperate with him, as we've always been, uh, if not more so, so that he can be acquainted with uh, our system here. I myself, I shall retain the position of uh, chairman, so that if there's anything we can do, we will do it with pleasure. Once again, we say welcome. Dr. Henry Kalu, our new managing director. Honestly, sir, I must say I have never seen your father as happy as I saw him today at the boardroom. Thank you so much for accepting to join us. You know, I should be the one thanking you. Thank you for talking to me and in this war that has been going on for years. You know, we are indebted to you, especially me. It's nothing, really. I owe my entire life and everything I have to the kindness and efforts of people. My greater desire is to bring smiles, happiness, and peace into the lives of others. Besides, I should be the one thanking God for making me meet your family. Well, I don't know what to say next. Oh. To do. I'm very nervous, you know, and I'm a novice at this. I'm just 
trying so hard not to make any mistake. <laughs> Mistakes are part of learning. Expect them. Don't fear them. Besides, this is my office. In case you need any help, questions or advice, please knock on my door. Sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. Have a good day. Great news for us, my dear. Now, let us toast. What are we toasting to, sir? Now, you remember the land you convinced me to buy near Port Harcourt? The one we agreed to build an oil tools manufacturing industry on? Exactly. What about it, sir? Well, information reaching me indicates that a major oil company has struck oil in commercial quantity on that land. <laughs> and any minute now, officials of that company will be knocking on our doors to commence uh, negotiations. That is good news, sir. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. That's good news. Oh, my dear. I am very, very lucky to have you in this company. Thank you, sir. Your health. And our progress. <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> yes. Mm. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, right. I invited you here because, like I said, any minute now the officials of the oil company will be knocking on our doorstep, and I want uh, us to know what to do. Now, off the cuff. Just the first idea that occurred to me is that um, we sell, collect our money, and run. <laughs> What's the E? <clears throat> I think um, I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, I'll go with that because uh, that way we can make millions, and millions of naira once we sell it off. But it depends if we have a good bargain and have an investment that guarantees wealth to generations unborn in your family if we don't sell. How, how, how do you mean? Sir, I think that practically leasing the land is wiser. Yes, if we lease the land, we end up making millions today and more millions in future in form of royalties and rent paid on that land for as long as they drill there. Don't you think the community will make trouble if they realize we are leasing the land? They'll certainly make trouble whether we sell or lease. And trust me, the oil company in question will not pay a dime until they are sure that the host community is in support of whatever is going to happen on that land. Even with our certificate of occupancy, which ensures that we are the legal owners by law? Sir, it is a traditional society. And in issues like this, the law and the government positions are often fluid not rigid. Oh. Ah. Very well. I think we'll go for the leasing option. But both of you will be in charge of the negotiations, should there be any. No problem, sir. Good. So once again, I say to us, congratulations. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, sir. <laughs> In summary, Chief, the host community wants the global holdings to relinquish the ownership of the land in question to them. Uh, no refund made, no compensation paid. Nothing. Their lawyer even told me that uh, they are ready to go to court and I want us to do so before they. Barrister, what do we stand to benefit by doing so? Uh, this is our case to lose and they know it. The government issued a certificate of occupancy for the land. I mean, I tend to agree with the barrister because I, I feel if there's any form of delay, we might just end up losing everything. I beg to disagree, sir. Going to court will not solve this problem. Mr. Neji, 
I'm giving my professional advice and opinion as a lawyer. And I would if you'll allow me to do that for which the company pays me for. So you can profit at the expense of the company? Watch your tongue. That's scandalous. And I demand that you withdraw the statement. That now. is the truth, Barrister. Else, why would you and the community lawyer be so much in a hurry to go to court when even we, the parties involved, have not met to negotiate? I want you to get one thing straight. I'm not a hungry lawyer, and I will never be one. And with all due respect, Barista, I do not remember calling you one. Uh, Mr. Neji, uh, you are suggesting that we negotiate with the host community? Yes, sir. Why, if I may ask? Sir, if we go to court, certainly we will win the case. But legal victory will not guarantee us the land and the benefits therein. If the host community refuse for the oil company to come into that land, the oil company cannot drill on that land and they will not pay us a dime. This will result into another Ogoni case. Remember, the federal government just revoked the license of Shell in the Ogoni land. Sir, if this crisis erupts and lingers on, we will face the same fate. We will not only lose the amount of money we use to buy the land, we will also lose the amount of money we give to the gentleman here to prosecute the case. Chief. The government will not revoke the certificate of occupancy for the land. If they do, we will sue them. I can assure you we will win the case. Tell me, Barista, in which court of law did Shell sue the federal government to when their license was revoked? Tell me, Barista, or don't they have a lawyer? Both cases are different. And I think we can... Uh, that's, that's all right. Thank you. Thank you, Barista. Thank you very much. My decision is that um, we should opt for negotiating with the host community. And um, Ms. Neji and Dr. Kalu will next week proceed to Port Harcourt to commence discussions with the host community. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Having come this far in this negotiation without any meaningful agreement, Dr. Henry, let me now make my community's position very clear to you. The land in question is our ancestral land. We will never allow any non-indigenous to benefit in the resources of the land. Therefore, the transaction we had with your company over the land is null and void. Yes. Yes. Mr. Obed. You have absolutely no right to speak to us like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Well, I am my community's representative. Does that give you the right to speak to us like that? I am not God, but I dare you and the oil company to set your foot in that land without our consent. You know what, Mr. Hobart? You're going to pay for this. And I'm going to go to excuse, every extent... Ex excuse me, sir. Please, please sit. Please. Well, Mr. Albert, truthfully, Global Holdings Limited has never ever questioned your right over that land or the resources therein. If we had, we will not be here to negotiate with you. Please, I want us all to proceed on a two hours break where we can calm our frail nerves. After which, I indulge us all to please negotiate and discuss as friends, not as sworn enemies. Please, I beg you. Please, Mr. Albert. Okay. Right. Please come with me, sir. The way you are going, you might not make headway with these negotiations. I mean, you have to pull yourself together. The guy was beginning to piss me off. That might be a deliberate act. They're not daft. They know they stand a better chance. They're not an advantage here. So you have to pull yourself together, else we move nowhere. 
But we've already exhausted what we agreed on to give to them with my father. Sarah, I know that. That is why I wanted us to take a break so we can think of something new. Without my father's consent? Sir, your father did not send us here to negotiate as puppets. Situations have changed. That means we have to compromise. Okay. What do you suggest? I say we give them 20% on whatever the company is giving to us for the land. And also give them the free hand to negotiate on community development and every other thing that they might need personally with the company. That would be a tough one. My father won't like it. Well, sir, he has no choice. If the community accepts our negotiations on this land, then we have to play their card that way, else we move nowhere. So you have to call him up now for us to know what he thinks we should do or what he would rather do. Sir. Yes, Your Excellency. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a great honor. Uh, what? Really? Uh, 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 thank, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you, thank you for letting us know yourself. <laughs> thank you. What? Yes, I shall be there next week, myself, yes, personally. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. Goodbye, Your Highness. Darling? Darling? Yes, dear? Oh, she has done it again. Yeah. <laughs> Amarachi. What has she done now? Her brilliance has won the day once again. The host community has accepted what she suggested. Are you serious? Oh, the traditional ruler has just called me on this number. <laughs> <He's done. laughs> No, I think I'm, you're quite right. I think I, I should call them. No, no. Don't call them. We have to go to the office and inform everybody personally. <laughs> and I would personally want to thank Amara on behalf of my grand and great grandchildren. Yes, I think that would be an excellent idea. Oh, my God. You know, I think this is more than just a thank you. Um, I was thinking a check. For five million naira for her. You have my support. Oh. She deserves far more than that. Oh, thank you, my dear. <laughs> Let's go and get dressed and get to the office. Yes. Let's go get dressed. Yes. yes. Ah. Oh. Ah, yes. Um, yes, as I told you, the leasing agreement with the oil company and the MOU with the host community will be signed tomorrow. I want both of you with the company lawyer will be going to sign on behalf of the company. Sir, I was thinking that he alone could go with a company lawyer. No, 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 no. no. I think the three of you should go. Um, you might uh, want to look at the final draft of the uh, agreement. All right, sir. Yeah. No, I don't think you have anything you're doing in the office. So that is the end of the day. So go and pack your things. And uh, your flight is 4 p.m. to Port Harcourt. No problem, sir. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, yes. Excuse me. Uh, sir. Yes, sir. A real man does not hide his feelings from a woman after. Yes, I see it in your eyes every time she's near you. What? <laughs> Come on. I am not in love oh, with... Okay, 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 okay. 
you are going to put Hakot together. Bear your mind, your heart to her. Hmm? Death. The, the, the way... Death. Go on, son. Go on, my son. <laughs> uh, you. <laughs> I know the tricks. I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> Good luck, son. <laughs> so, how do you like the food? It's very good. <laughs> Great. You're welcome. You know, maybe I should take you out. You know, maybe we should just go to the club. A club? Hmm? Um, sorry, Sai. I haven't been to a club in my entire life. Oh, why not? Well, there's always a first time to everything, and maybe we should just do it for experience sake. No, son, I think I'd better just go to my room and relax. Thanks all the same. If you don't mind. Right. No, I'm fine. Oh, are you ready to leave? Whenever you're ready. Oh, just a minute then. Okay, let's go. Ah. So. Um, I hope you don't mind. I want to switch to CNN. Sir, hmm? I'm actually very tired. I want to go and take a shower and be tired to bed. But you can watch CNN in your own room. I'm sure they have it there. I'm sorry, but this is supposed to be our room. What? You mean that you and I are going to be? We are supposed to share this room. <gasps> that, that's a joke. I mean, we can't possibly share the same room. Listen to me. You know the problems we went through coming from the airport? To this hotel. By the time we got here, there was so much traffic. It's the only one that was available. You don't believe me. Hello? Reception? Please, are all your rooms fully booked? Thank you. No, sir, this is not the only hotel in Port Harcourt. You're going to have to go out there, try and look for another hotel that has a vacant room, so you can move in there. Marachi, why do you want to put me through that? It's risky traveling at night. And secondly, why would you want me to lodge into a hotel that I don't trust the way I trust this one in this city? God forbid, that. sir. You and I can't stay in the same room. You're a man and I'm a woman. How are we supposed to... Marachi, I understand you. I know what you're thinking. I understand your fears. But I can promise you I will be a complete gentleman. There's no space for you to stay here, sir. There's no space in this hotel, sir. You and I can't stay. The, the room is for one. You and I can't stay together in the same room. Amarachi, yes, I promise I will be a complete gentleman till morning. No, sir. Please, sir. You can't stay here, sir. You have to go for another hotel that has a vacant room. Then you can move in there. Please, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What time is it? What? It? I gotta take my bath. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Thank you for keeping your promise last night. Uh, you're welcome. I'm the one sorry for inconveniencing you last night. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Please, I want you to move to another room. Sure. But let's take our bath first. 
and then I would check if there's a another room I will move into a separate room or get another hotel okay please sir don't go into my bathroom if you go into the bathroom then I will not follow you for the signing ceremony Amarachi what has me leaving this room got anything to do with you going with me into the ceremony everything sir and I might have to take the next available flight back to Lagos I don't want you and I to be in this room in the next 10 minutes please sir I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, hello. Reception? Yeah, um, is there any room available? Yeah, good, good. Reserve it for me, please. Yeah, for today. Thank you. I'm oh, sorry, sir. See you all dressed and ready to go, shall we? Of course. I mean, I was meaning to ask you, sir. Who are we actually dining with? Oh, some friends of mine from America. I ran into them this afternoon. That means you still went out after the signing ceremony? Well, almost immediately. Why are you asking? <laughs> That's kind of because you I mean, you look too gorgeous for just the dinner. Thank you. And you look... Beautiful in your outfit. Thank nice you. dress. That's my favorite color, orange. Thank you. Oh! What, what, what did you do that for? Why did you do that? I'm sorry. Please leave, sir. I'm alright. I said I'm sorry. No problems. I want to reapply my makeup. Please leave. Alright. Fair enough. But, um, are you still going to go with me? That's why I'm reapplying my makeup. Good morning. How was your night? Fine. Just jet lag. And yours? Yeah, same here. Jet lag. Um, sorry. Something you want me to help you do? So, sorry? I was asking if there was something you wanted me to do for you. Oh, no, no. I... It's... I had a dream about you last night. I'm, I'm very busy, sir. It's all right. Fair enough. Have a good day. So. Yes. Is that a problem?
actually saw you in my dream too. But, but it, it wasn't anything serious. I mean, you were just sorry. Mine wasn't anything serious either. You know, what just amazed me was I don't usually dream. You know, uh, worse this time I had a dream. I don't know about a lady. And I woke up missing her. You know, I spent my whole night thinking about you. I thought so. I'm just thinking. Thinking. See, what will his parents say? I think you're just an idiot. An idiot who wants to be a gold digger. I want to reap from you, you did not sow. That's what they'll think. They'll think you just warm your way into the family heart so that you can get close to their son who is the heir of the billionaire business and then you can get something out of them. They'll think you're useless. That's what they'll think. Oh God. I have to stop. I have to stop now. I have to stop. I won't speak to him again. I won't speak to him again. No, 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 I'll speak to him, but you have to go his way and I'll go my way. No, but we're working together. Oh, well, I'm going to tell him I'm not interested. I'm not interested in anything. He has to just leave me alone. Hello? Hello, Amaraji. I'm sorry if I woke you up. I wasn't sleeping. Can't sleep. At this time of the night, you're not asleep. You don't sound like someone who's sleeping yourself. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. You and uh... Amarachi. Amarachi. Oh my God! She put the phone down on me. Oh my. Call at this time of the night. I'm such a fool. Oh God. What's wrong with you? Mom. You ought to be asleep by now. I was walking past your room. I decided to check up on you. Now I walk in and find you looking so worried and tensed up. What's wrong? Come on, son, talk to me. I'm your mother. What is the problem? Mama, I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. You are in love. <laughs> I'm 
you are yeah. in love. And might I know with who? Mama can't tell you. Why? She's a... Uh, um, she's... She's who? I'm in love with Amarachi. Now this is sounding quite interesting. So have you told her? That's a sad part. But I think she has an idea though. Great. Actually son, there is nothing wrong with falling in love. It's a very good thing, a wonderful thing. And you are a full grown man. It's no reason to get so apprehensive and tensed. You go to sleep now, okay? Go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it would appear as if I'm taking advantage of her because she works for us? Don't worry about a thing. Your dad and I will talk about this in the morning. You go to sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sleep in peace. <laughs> Honestly, Father, I don't understand myself. What was I thinking? How could I fall victim to something I myself criticize? How could I fall for my boss? Oh, God. Amaraji, love is like the wind. It can blow wherever it wants to blow. And no one can stop it. I have to stop this one. I have to stop this one. In fact, I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my job to do so, Father. What? Now, you're making a very big mistake. Father, I have already made a mistake by falling for my boss. Oh, God. Father, I know that quitting my job might not be able to help me forget him completely, but at least it will bring me back to sanity. At least. I can force you to change your mind. But before you do anything further, I want you to remember that love is sacred. It is more powerful than even the most determined human mind. Just like the word of God says that love is the fulfillment of the scripture. It could bring joy and peace to your life and it could also devastate you. Ask yourself, will killing this true love bring peace and joy to your life or will it devastate you? Think, my dear. I don't know, Father. I don't know. God, I need your help. I need you to help me. Because I love her very much. I do. Yes, come in. Ah, Amarachi. Miss Amarachi, sir. Please. I'm sorry. I came to tender my resignation letter. What? You are quitting? I'm resigning, sir. Thank you very much for allowing me to work in your company. It was fun and I had very good experience. And please, my love to your parents. Okay, I'm I, 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 I listen. Just listen to me. I can't stop you from walking. But if you think you're walking away because of me, you're wrong. You're very wrong. Because I won't let you out of my life. Sir, please, you have to. I'm right. The love that I have has turned me into your shadow. And I won't let you run away. And I can swear to you from this moment on, I won't let you out of my sight. God, why should I always be the one? I love you. I love you. I'm in love with you. And I know you love me too. I was resigning because I Will you marry me? Mm. I'm not Will 
you marry me? Will you marry me? yesterday. Mm. Do you want me to do anything for you? Mm. What? Help me up. No, Mama. Mama, no. Mm. Do you know you're not strong? You can't stand. My dear, life is a complex work that no human being can unravel. Mm. The truth is how bleak of breath it looks at the beginning does not determine how sadly or joyfully it will end. Mm. The great and the legendary are not known by how great they were at birth, mm. but by the significance of the impact they made before they died. Mm. In life, always remember that where there is death, there is also some pain. Where there is success, there is also failure. 
where there is rejection, there is also some acceptance. <coughs> where there is love, there is also hate. It is only those that realize this and persevere that succeed in life. No, my child, promise me that no matter what comes your way, you will never give up. Why are you talking like this now? Why are you talking like this? Do you mm. want to leave me? I'm a Russian. Mama, don't you ever. Okay, mm. okay. I promise mm. I won't. But stop talking like this. Oh, thank you, my child. Get me some water to drink. Okay, mama. Let me get you. Mm. I'm a rushing. Don't you ever forget your promise. Don't you forget, I promise. Let me get you water. Mm. Oh, God. God. Mm. Protect and bless her for Jesus. school since your grandmother's death. Your promotional exams are coming up in two weeks' time. Are you aware? Headmaster. My parents are dead. Do you know how they died? No. But all that should be left in the past where they rightfully belong. The past shapes the present. And both determine the future. You told us that. Remember? My father was the only child my grandmother had. I was the only child my father had. My parents died the same day of food poisoning. They died when I was less than two. That woman buried there. My grandmother. She took care of me from that age till now. She was the family I knew. She was all I had. Now, like my parents, she's gone, leaving me all alone. mother died. My educational ambition went with her. My whole life 
went with her because she was the only hope I had for a better future. Tell me, why am I going back to school? Why should I go back to school? Uh, you were my best student and uh, still the most brilliant student in the whole ITEM community. Your loved ones, cry for them because it is the right thing to do. But don't drop out of school, please. I am not dropping out of school, sir. Second is forcing me out. For even if I choose to go to school, who will pay my bills? Who? My wife and I. Yes, we will. As you know, we are childless. We have decided to take you like our own child. Thank you. Thank you so much. God will bless you. God will bless you. It's okay. Go in and arrange your things. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Stop crying. God will bless you. God will bless you, sir. Good afternoon. Can I talk with you briefly? Briefly? Yes. Thank you. Sorry for the death of your grandmother. Mm, I'm so sorry. Honestly, I ought not to bother you what I'm about to say. But believe me, nature has a way of having its way on us. Nothing. You said briefly, remember? Yes, I do. But please. Do you remember the theory of magnets? Like poles repel, opposite poles attract. Yes. Why do you ask? That theory is not just describing the characteristics of natural magnets. It's describing you and I. Amarachi, every woman needs a man, said a songwriter. Oh. Amarachi, please be oh. my girl. Please be my girl. Please. Thank you for showing me how insensitive you are. Amarachi, please don't look. Come back, please. You are giving up on Amarachi just after your first attempt the other day. I am not giving up on Amarachi. It's not possible. I mean, the timing was very wrong and you know it. You don't see how stupid and foolish I felt that day she just walked out on me like a fool. <sighs> Maybe I should have raised such issue with her now that she's still mourning her grandmother. Hmm? Also, did you hear yourself? I don't know the day you became a saint in this school. 
If I may ask, which of our grandmother are you talking about? Her late grandmother. Oh, the one that died three months ago or another one. And they told her she's still mourning her. Will she mourn her forever? Talk to you, my brother. What's the thing they do you? Can you don't let fuck up, bro? Huh? We have had this with the best girls in this school since we have made the senior prefect. And Amarachi's case will not be an exception. I go for her and get her. Guy, you deform my hands, honestly. Okay, guys, you know how we've been doing it. Whoever gets a girl, have a gun half first. And by pretending to have caught them doing it and threatening to expose them. And she'll be left with no option than to allow us to have our gun, huh? Okay? And that reminds me now, so you are still owing us for the last two jobs we did with you. Yes. And this time around, we want you to pay us with Amarachi. Failure to do so will kick you off from our clique. And you know what that means? Guys, you know what? I promise. You see Amarachi? In this school, I will get Amarachi. That's better. She will not go free. I swear. No, no, no. You guys will see it. Guys. Here she comes. Just go after her. Don't give her a pretty space. Go. You saw it. No, so we saw not. No, so we only saw a pretty girl who is too good for sex. Only to be ignored by a coward. That's what we are. Me a coward. Before Uncle. Psst. Guys, let's 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 go. When they come back here, I'll tell you. Also, we are preferred in this school. No gay has ever failed us. Maybe I'm not going be different. Tell me. If Amalachi wants it peacefully, we will give it to her. And if she wants it by force, we will still give it to her. Yes. All we need for you is just to get us Amalachi. Madam, you can more, more, you don't lose your family, but what did verse Mimo say? I hear say this guy knelt down for her in the presence of the teacher stand begging her. Huh? What we want is for you to get Amalachi. Guy, know the fuck up. Ah! Hey! Guy, you the F, oh. You the F. Guy! My dear big boys, if you are in, just give me your hands. Big boys. Are you in? Uh, see, come on, get away, go, just go, go, try Yeah, just find for more. They shake Hey! You, you, get out. And what are you doing here while others are in class studying and hatching? The class was very noisy, so I came out here to read with my friends. And is this place the school library? Sorry, let me go to my class then. Sit there. Also, flog her very well. Uh -uh. Senior Chima, flog me. Why flog me for an offense my friends and I committed? Because your friends have given us what you are denying on, so. What? Yes. Look, if you agree and follow me to the bush, Quietly. I mean, you and I will have fun. And it will save you some pain this afternoon. And if not? If not, then I will flog you to my field here and now. Give me that cane. Ah, then you're going to have to flog me. You're going to have to flog me. This is my palm. Your palm? What, what is this? And who told me to give you the luxury of flogging your palms? Guys, bring this girl. I'm not going anywhere with you. Bring this way. Bring, 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 Um, 
You are the ones chosen by the elders of Idem to escort Amarachi to our border point on her way to life exile, right? Yes, ma'am. And in a few minutes' time, you'll be on your way. Yes, ma'am. That's why I called you. You see, my late husband, Monso's father, was a philanthropist. Through his efforts, both of you and countless others, you are able to go to school or start their own businesses. If you had lived a few years more than this, both of you will not be in the village doing nothing. See, Nansu's murder has closed the lineage forever. As you can see, I am past the age of childbearing. So that, that person that committed this heinous crime deserves worse than just punishment. Yes, I think this kind of punishment, our culture stipulates for an like this. Yes, ma'am. You know, the police that were supposed to ensure that she becomes severely punished for committing that crime decided to let her go just because she told them a story that made them believe she committed the crime out of self defense. Yes, they did. They did. And the question is. Will you release her too? Will you? And let my son die in there? Very difficult, right? Okay. Here is um, 500,000 Naira. Share it between yourself. And don't let that girl live beyond today. Do we have a deal? Sure, ma'am. Yes. Good. I think that's all. The bush, of course. No, they said I should leave it them. They didn't say I should go into the bush. Please, you want to kill me? That means Ogu, please. We want to kill you for the cold blooded murder. We want to kill you. Please, my brothers. Please, I beg you. I know I don't have much to say. I don't even have a choice. But please, our culture guarantees a person the right to at least speak before him or her is killed. Can I at least speak? Please. Speak now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nonso died because I stabbed him. Tradition says that whoever does that shall be banished for life. But you want to go beyond the others of the elders. Like you said, you want to avenge Nonso's death. I'm not begging for my life. For under the circumstance, the dead is by far better than me. But no matter the reason, it is an abomination, a taboo for an indigent of Item to be killed by another. Why do you want to live your life in guilt knowing that you have committed an abomination? My brothers, please, I beg you with whatever you hold dear, not to do this. For even if the human beings on earth cannot see you do this evil, God can. He sees you and sooner or later he will rise in judgment. Please, my brothers, I beg you, spare my life. Please, if my words touch your heart, then let me go. Shut up! If not, then this is my bosom. Kill me. Stab me to death. Kill me. Stab me to death. Kill me. Kill me, my brothers. Kill me.
I'm here before your throne, Papa. I have nowhere else to go. I'm here because you are the God of the fatherless. You are the help of the poor. You are the protector of the homeless. Please, God. The world has rejected me. I'm here, in your arms, in your throne of mercy, please, if I am guilty as charged, then reject me, reject me and let me die a miserable death, but if I am not, show your kindness, Papa, lead my way. Lead my way and comfort my soul. Comfort my soul, God. Comfort my soul. Comfort my soul, God. Comfort my soul, Papa. Comfort my soul, God. It is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. It is well 
of the Most High, speak to me. Why not speak to me? Oh, I can hear your voice through your tears. Your tears have spoken more words than you can utter. Oh, come and join me in my morning prayers. Almighty God is waiting this morning to hear from us. To hear from you, daughter. Come and join me. Let me know if I should leave or I can stay. I can only talk when you sit down. <sighs> okay. I want you to understand that everything that happened in your life, from the death of your parents, your grandmother, and the unfortunate incident that got you banished from the land of your bed, never happened by chance. I don't know why the young men did not kill you after you spoke to them in the bush. And why of all the places in the world, you choose to come to this church for refuge. But I know that God has been leading you on for a purpose. Father, I don't think my life has a purpose. Do you think it has? Your life has a purpose. That's the reason why you're still alive. Good news. I discussed everything with the council and they voted to allow you to stay here in the parish. <gasps> Yes, you'll be moving into the boss orders later today. My God, thank you so much! I mean, thank you, Father, thank you so much! You're welcome. Thank Almighty God. It is His doing and it is marvelous in our sight. Yes, another good news for your daughter. Musa on and ready to get a skill for you where you continue your education. Yes, the parish will see you through to any level you wish to attain. Really? That's You're welcome, man. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. 
Please sit down. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you're wondering who this lovely lady is. She is Miss Amarachi Neji. She's a first class degree holder in business management. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I introduced you your new general manager. Um, you can introduce yourself. Uh, operations. I am Augustine Okafo, the operations manager. You're welcome. Here comes the general manager of the multi-billionaire company. I'm proud of you, my dear. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Father, I owe everything I am today to you. And I'm grateful. You owe everything you are to the grace of God. And to you too. And to all those whom God has used to touch my life. What is it? I wish my parents were here. I wish my grandmother was here. I wish for so many things, Father. So many things. It's okay. I understand how you feel. But you cannot change your destiny. And remember, no one has it all. No. The Bible says that all things work together for good to the love of God. You see, all things, everything is working for your good. You cannot change your past. But my dear, you can be the master of your future. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all your kind words. I promise I'll never disappoint you. You're welcome. You said they gave you an official resident. <gasps> yes! They gave me a lavishly beautiful house. Extremely big, Father. And they're also going to give me a brand new car tomorrow. My God, you are a mighty God. <laughs> you are a great God. Oh, you are the reward of them that diligently seek you. I am so happy. So when are you moving in, my dear? This weekend? I actually want to stay back and thank all the parishioners. They've been wonderful. You are a wonderful girl too. You deserve it. <laughs> and you are a wonderful father. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. We thank God for everything. Thank you. It's a mighty God. Who prepared this tender? Who prepared the tender? I handled the technical aspect of it, while the accounts manager handled the commercial aspect of it. Account manager, please tell me that one of your junior staffs drafted this out. That would sound a lot more convincing. We prepared it ourselves. Is there anything wrong in it? Everything is wrong with the tender. With all due respect, ma, the contract we are bidding for in the Federal Ministry of Aviation falls within my professional field as an engineer, and there is nothing wrong with the tender. There is nothing wrong with the tender? Yes. Okay. Operations Manager, these are guidelines for tender preparation issued by the Federal Government of Nigeria. Those guidelines have been in use for the past two years. Please, look at them from the first guideline to the tenth and tell me which of them your perfect tender conforms with. This is not the first time we are bidding for a government job in this office. We have prepared over 25 tenders ever before you joined this company. Well, account manager, I have searched through the company records and I never saw anywhere where you won any of those jobs. Am I wrong? Sir, everything is wrong with the tender. Technically, it is shallow. Commercially, it is undervalued. I demand, sir, that if we want to win this job, then they have to rewrite another tender and follow the guidelines of the federal government. And I want to be part of that tender from scratch to finish. Thank you, Mr. Neji. 
ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you all remember that Miss Neji was out of this country when you commenced the preparation of this tender. She was away on company business. Since she's been back, she's been wanting to know how far the preparation of the tender has been. She raised some issues and they're quite serious. I would have thought that you will cooperate with her, try and explain to her. But all this bickering that is going on, as if you are infallible. Remember that we have never won a government contract. And you have prepared many of them. And you have also forgotten that Ms. Neji is the general manager. And as the general manager, she has control over the preparation, supervision, and approval of all tenders. She is answerable only, only to me. The Ministry of Aviation contract that we are chasing is worth over 10 billion naira. I don't want to lose it. I must not lose it. Remember, Mr. Neji is in charge. This meeting is over. Thank you very much, sir. Well, I would be glad if I could get the tender at my office 8 a.m. Monday morning. Thank you very much. Is that why she enjoys making everyone look like a fool before Chief ever since she joined this company? The curious thing is that Chief easily agrees with her. I don't like her style much, but it works. I guess that's why she's Chief's favorite. But I pray the beat fails. Why? Why? Because she sounds and acts like a perfectionist. Is she not one? Let's get into our offices before she comes here and meet us. I recommend for her son for gossiping in the office. Oh, that's true. You know she's capable of anything. schedule and a budget for the execution of the contract we have with Global Charter Oil Company. You prepared this? Yes, ma'am. And Chief signed it? Of course, yes. I'm only here because of new rule that says you should come to sign such documents before money could be released. Sign. I'm sorry, sir. You're going to have to cancel that. What? What, ma? I need the money involved. We need so that we can mobilize both equipment and personnel to site by tomorrow. No. Operations manager, you will certainly get the money you need to execute that job. But not with this work schedule and budget that you prepared. What is wrong with this, if I may ask? Everything is wrong with it. It lacks basic details. I mean, you said here that you need 35 million naira as a total sum to execute that job without telling us the cost of the face-to-face -face activities of that job. Chief, I am a professional engineer and I know the actual cost and duration of this job more than anyone else in this company. Well, sir, 
Chief and I would love to be educated on that by you. Please. please. Chief, um, well, um, <clears throat> operations manager, thank you very much. Thank you. But I think you should do what the general manager has suggested. And when you have finished, um, you should give it to her to sign before you bring it to me. that it's her story I'm about to tell you. But of course, my husband never comes back home these days without telling me of one miracle or the other that the maverick has been lucky to found, has performed. Honestly, she is a godsend. Her refusal to sign a schedule prepared by the operations manager has saved the company a whopping four million naira. What? Yes. That greedy idiot. That's how he carries on enriching himself oh, yes. by running the company down? Yes. Darling, what did you do to him? Oh, I warned him seriously. Oh, oh there's more. Now, you remember um, a tender that was prepared by the uh, operations manager? Yes. And discarded by Amarachi. Yes. She rewrote and supervised it. We are about to win that job. Darling, you mean the 12 billion naira <laughs> Federal Ministry of Aviation contract? Yeah. Oh, oh. Wow! <laughs> you know, I had a call from a very high ranking official of the ministry. Oh, yes. He spoke to me in confidence that our bid is the best, technically and commercially. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you know what that means? I do. We are going to win the bid. <laughs> Darling. Oh, how great. How fantastic. Oh, oh God, oh. we thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> thank God. Thank God. God. It's just so, so disheartening. Harry, our own son. Oh. Somebody else's child building up his father's business empire. And he's just, he's just there. Please, touch him for us, oh Lord. Please. Amen. Amen. You know, what makes me sad is the fact that we only have one child. And each time I see how Amarachi performs so brilliantly, but help wishing that uh, she was her daughter. I don't know. I don't know why Harry has refused the palace that is built for him, preferring to live out in the open just because of some medical madness that he calls a medical career. Sometimes, I feel like a childless man. 
You feel like a childless father, dad? Yes. You feel like a childless father? Simply because your son is a grown up man and he wants to do what he loves to do, but you rather push him into something else? You are not a full grown man. You are a full grown idiot. You are a full grown disappointment. That is what your decision has made you. Said by mom and dad, when will either of you ever have something good to say about me? When? Harry, when you abandon this medical madness you call the pursuit of a medical profession and take over the business that your father has rightfully built for you. Mom, I am a qualified medical doctor, not a businessman. That's what I am. And I really don't care about your generational wealth. You can keep all your monies for all I care and just allow me to practice my profession. Over my dead body, you are going to inherit this empire whether you like it or not. I built it for you. It is my sweat. It is yours. And you are our only child. Dad, if you don't know what to do with your money, your wealth, you can give it up to charity. Because like I've always said, and I'm still saying, I do not need it. Excuse me. Having said that, let me now formally inform you that your page was indeed successful. Ah! <laughs> the general agreement among my colleagues is that I recommend your company to the Honorable Minister of Affection for the job. Congratulations. Thank you, DG. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I give you my word that I shall do you top quality work. Oh, your record said that. Thank you. Now to business. This is the recommendation file. I called you so that we can go into agreement before I forward it to the minister's office. Go into agreement? Yes. My colleagues and I won 500 million naira cash before I can do the job. That's not much. A contract of 12 billion naira. 500 million naira? Yes. <laughs> DG, I am a businessman. I like to make some profit in whatever I do. <laughs> I mean, if, if I do as you have demanded, I'll be doing this job at a loss. Unless I do poor quality work. And I do not do poor quality work. In other words, you will not pay the money. DG, the contract in question is to supply and install sensitive equipments to four of our nation's most strategic airports. Now, the air travelers may perhaps include you or I or our families. I will not take that risk. I will not take it. Not even for a one trillion dollar contract. No, I will not take it. I will not take that risk. No, I can't. Secretary, 
get me the file for the company that came second in the airport contract bids. Call the managing director to see me right away. DJ, please don't cheat me out of a contract. I have won. Please. Please. Chief Kao, you have till close of work tomorrow to pay or forget each other. I'm true with you. in the contract is going to turn you into the total stranger I've been with since you came back today. Why don't you just go ahead and pay the DG? Monica, I can't pay. I can't. Why? Obviously, you need this contract. Yes. So why, why are you insisting on not paying the money? I can never pay a kickback. And she agrees with me and insists that we shouldn't. As a matter of fact, she has threatened to resign her position if I do. And God knows that I would rather lose that contract than lose her. She is a gem. Yes, you're right. I agree with you that she is worth much more than the contract. And she has such strong Christian moral upbringing. Yes. What? Does she have any alternative plan? Well, if she has, she has not told me. Um, when I was leaving the office, she was on her way to the aviation ministry. Ah. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Have you been able to convince him to back down? Unfortunately, sir. He stood his grounds and I to mine. Oh. But not to worry, sir. We have our good conscience and God's grace to fight him. Even if we do not get the contract, it's not the end of the world. I mean to say, sir, that I, I strongly believe that we will have the contract. How? Amarachi, how? I'm actually going to go to the aviation ministry tomorrow. That's because I do believe that place is not Sodom and Gomorrah. So there's got to be one person, anybody there who still has his or her conscience intact. I am going to find that person and speak to that person. Sir, all my life I have never had to play dirty for anything and I do not intend to start now. I am not a quitter. You really have to take things easy, sir. You have to. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I should take my leave now. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day, ma'am. Well, Miss Zayman, I'm sure that Tracy here must have told you that we're very good friends at the university. I ran into her at the Ministry of Aviation, but she told me she now works there courtesy of your kindness. Yeah, Tracy and I have been childhood friends. Well, I must say that you are a very good friend indeed. Miss Zayman, my company, Global Holdings Limited, 
has actually been having serious problems with the Ministry of Aviation for some days now. And the only person who can actually solve this problem is your father, who is the Minister of Aviation. In other words, you're asking me to help you get to my father? Exactly, Ms. Ingo. And I'll be very grateful if you can make this happen. Well, Ms. Amirachi, I'm sorry I can't help you. My father is a very strict man. And ever since his appointment, we, his children, have come to an agreement not to get involved in his official duties. So I'm sorry I can't help you. Is there enough? If what she told me is true, I don't think having her will make your dad angry. Don't you see? Yes. I don't want to get myself involved in this. Sorry, miss. But can I at least tell you what the problem is? Well, you can go ahead and tell me, but tell me will produce no results. Ms. Zainab, let me start by asking you. Do you travel by air in this country? Then this concerns you. As much as it concerns me and millions others traveling within and outside Nigeria. Two days ago, your father awarded a multi-billion Naira contract for the supply and installation of very sensitive equipment into four of Nigeria's most important airports. Now the company that got that contract didn't actually win it. My company won that contract. Hi, I don't understand you. Well, the company who actually got that contract got it because they gave the sum of 500 million naira to some staff of the ministry so they could recommend them to your father at the expense of my company who actually won that contract. That was because we refused to pay. Now tell me, are the lives of millions of air travelers what a paltry sum of 500 million naira? That is including you, your family, your friends, and myself. That is what some people have sold these precious lives for by doing this. I don't want to make this happen. The question is, do you? have been awarded the aviation ministry contract. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sir. Wait for it. Oh, 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 oh. The minister called me today, apologized, and told me that they had revoked the contract they signed with the other company. And we have been reinstated as the company with the best bid. and his cohorts are in the net of the EFCC. Serves him right. I mean, serves him right. <laughs> well, the contract will be signed on Friday. Meanwhile, you should start getting ready, getting prepared to meet the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. How? <laughs> Me? The minister called me and he, is, he said the president insisted on meeting the fearless amazing who stepped on big toes to save the country another aviation embarrassment uh, and misery. Are you sure? You mean me? I, I'm, I'm going to meet the president. Oh, yes. oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe I made it! My, my, my what, 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 what is the matter? Why are you crying? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's nothing. I'm just excited. I mean, oh. I, <laughs> you me. Sorry. Thank you, thank you so much. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, God I'm just so excited. I don't know what to mean.
confess I am <laughs> Well, the lunch you have been invited to is not an ordinary lunch. As a matter of fact, today is my dearest wife's birthday. Oh my, oh, <laughs> happy birthday, Ma. I'm so sorry, I should have bought a card or something. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> On her request, um, we are making it um, a family affair. You are the only one who has been invited, which goes to show you how much we love you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm so honored, son. I'm very grateful, madam. Thank you. You're welcome. You. <laughs> Very welcome, my dear. Now, so I'm going to watch my dearest wife make a wish of her cake, and then we toast her. Um, I'm so, oh, sorry to interrupt you, sir. You once said you had a son. He's out of the country, I guess. No, no. Um, actually, he's, um, he's in the house, upstairs. But please, um, don't let us spoil the, the moment of, of, of peace. Listen, even if he's aware of what we're doing today, of what today means, he still won't join us. Madam, you mean to say he's not aware of what's going on down here? Listen to me. It might shock you to hear what I'm about to say. But the truth is, my son, our son, he's turned into something we don't quite understand. And we don't like it. We're not happy about it. Please, just... Spare us. Let's continue. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. Honestly, I am. I mean, I, I'm honored. I'm grateful. I'm so excited. I'm privileged to, to be invited. I mean, to be part of this. But I can't replace your biological child. I can't possibly do that, sir. Please, sir. Please. Just... Grant me the honor of going upstairs, bring him down here, so he can be part of this. That is the only way this can truly be a family affair. Please, sir. Please, ma. Please. I beg you. Very well. If you insist, it's um, up the stairs. First room on your right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You said the first room to my right, sir. 